my apologies, ladies and gentlemen. I've been having some technical difficulties, of which I've been recording wrong videos, but here it is. War Game Cup semifinals, round nine. The natal player, representing the color blue, is Delta. And the red player, also natal, is YKKYYKKY. Now I have watched this match, I know what happens. And this build is very interesting. So in the current metagame, helicopter infantry rushes are quite potent. The weakness, of course, is that the infantry take quite a long time to get to their destination, and so very often you have two or three attacks of a weakened strength. So what he is going to do is he's going to use the infantry to take out anti-aircraft elements and also help eliminate command armors, and he's going to use all these heavy hogs and gazelles to actually do the sniping. Now here's the scary part for Delta. Delta has these Flak Panzers, it's part of his style. The Flak Panzers are quite good against um, infantry, and they're, they can do damage when they're in close range of helicopters. They're kind of a little more multi-purpose than the, the Martyr Roland II. And he doesn't have a single martyr roll in two, and he won't get a single martyr roll in two. So, from uh, YKKY, YKKY, so all in, he's not even going to afford a more expensive armor. He's going for the cheapest armor possible. So, here we go the rush of a murder of gazelles, a flock of heavy hogs and a mob of pumas. Now this particular push has a very high success rate considering all things. And look at this great spread already by YKKY, YKKY. Not gonna lose to a lot of easy anti-aircraft units and immediately spotted by Delta, he's moving out a lot of units, maybe too many units, leaving his main base very defenseless. And the helicopters will just graze over the infantry. Not too worried about losing a few here and there. Delta taking a very early lead, but this is not about the lead. This is not about the points. This is about the kills. And there's not a lot of anti-aircraft units. And immediately <laughs> immediately getting these Martyr Rolling 2s out, he's going to get some AMX Rolling 2s as well. The cheaper version. They have the same rocket regardless. And he's going to try and pull his command over back into the woods here. As far away from this rush as possible. And it's got to be a little weird to see this. You often do not see Pumas rushing in with gazelles and whatnot and this is where the plan should pick up he's got to drop these pumas near the rollins get rid of the rollins and then snipe the command armor this is the thought process and looks like he might lose one puma so far but he will get the infantry landed so infantry could also be used to take out the command armor itself like i said it's a, they have multi-purpose most people have been using these martyr rolling twos to kind of deal with the helicopters, but they've been ignoring the infantry, and that's one of the powers of this particular type of push. Obviously, he's practiced it quite a bit, and immediately he's taken quite a few helicopter losses. And here comes the heavy hogs. This, the heavy hogs are the majority of, of his air left. Most of his gazelles are in fact dead, and he's got to kill the final command armor. So he's going to move all the pumas, and keep in mind. He realizes this push that he's going to lose some Pumas. The Pumas will also soak up some of this Flak Panzar damage. They'll also spot. They'll do a lot of great things. And he's going to use the remainder of these Pumas to just kind of soak some damage up. And he's got to land them not in the woods, but around the woods. Helicopters cannot land in woods. It's impossible. I've tried. And here comes the Heavy Hogs. Now, he's got to get this command armor down. And does he see it? That's the question. And he does. He sees it. There's a lot of infantry here. Whoa, 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 we have a counterattack here, a counterattack here by Delta. He's going to go for it. He's bringing all his forces forward, and it's a lot of forces all the while at the bottom here, which is a very key bet victory. It might be a battle between who can get the command armors first. This command armor is panicked, has no hit points lost. All the Chaucers are pretty well routed right now. There's still tons that can still kill the command armor. But here comes a TPZ Fuchs from Delta. There's no response here from YYKKY. He literally does not know about it. And... These command armors will die just from being blown on. And this could be the big game defining moment in which Delta will move on to the finals if he's able to get the skill in time. And here comes the sneeze. 
The sneeze is good. He ranks up. He's now a level four sneeze, double rank, and he gets the kill. Delta with a very powerful defense of a very hard rush to pull off and to defend against is able to move on to round 10, the finals. He will be playing for $1,500 and a guaranteed laptop. Thank you guys for joining me. My name is Trollmaker, and uh, I'll see you again next time. Thanks for watching.